Why are the raccoons coming out of the apartment building? Maybe this isn't the future that we think it is. Maybe all the humans and the cyborgs live on the streets in the garbage and the raccoons live in the buildings? <laughs> What's up guys and welcome back to Tasty Planet Forever and today is an episode that I've been looking forward to for a while now because as I've been saying we've been playing a lot of animals that don't really get out of hand in the typical Tasty Planet way. You know we have a dingo that eats a city, we have a shark that eats a bunch of boats. It's not really on the same level as say a penguin eating the universe. In the future, the polar ice caps have melted. Ecosystems are collapsing, but nature finds a way. A mutation has occurred. Fly, tiny penguin, fly away. Take back the planet. Now we're talking. Okay, so I'm not a genetically modified penguin. I'm not a robot penguin. I'm not a regular penguin with a vendetta. I am an evolved penguin. Through natural selection, I have developed the ability to eat fruit flies and sunflower seeds and grains of rice and fly, come to think of it. <laughs> That's probably a pretty big deal for penguins. I'm sure they've been trying to get at that for a while now. You can really tell that flight did not come easy to this guy. <laughs> like, I know it's probably natural since it's evolution, but at the same time, I look like a hummingbird in a tuxedo. There is a whole lot of flapping going on with this chubby little body. <laughs> <laughs> so we got black flies and mosquitoes, ooh, and more bugs. Where am I exactly? I, I know I left my home in the Arctic, but I thought I went to some kind of random polluted area. There's a whole lot of wildlife here for a polluted area. Wildlife and French fries. <laughs> On a cardboard box, okay, I think I'm seeing the bigger picture here. Meat chunk? Not even gonna say what kind of meat, it's just meat. I know this is hard to believe, but meat without any kind of identifying feature isn't exactly natural. In nature, you know where your meat comes from. I really hope I'm just packing on winter weight. You know, a whole lot of uh, penguin water weight as opposed to needing to take a giant french fry poop. Oh my god, oh it's a bat. Ooh. Why are there so many bats out at night just hanging out with the bugs? They're not even eating them. Ooh, more french fries. Excuse me, Mr. Bat. Do you have rabies by any chance? You're not acting very normal. You're not foaming at the mouth. Okay, then maybe they're just rude. I don't know, city bats, right? <laughs> I wanted to make sure because I haven't evolved to avoid rabies yet. Power of flight and being this adorable were tasks unto themselves. I really just want to eat a bat. You know what? I'm gonna have to risk it. They might be a dirty bat, but it'll it'll be worth it. Hey, stay away from my food! Maybe we'll just leave the bats for a minute and instead enjoy some meat on a stick. Again, not very natural. <laughs> meat does not grow on sticks. Ooh, but it is a wonderful appetizer. There we go. Now we can get all the bats. When can I eat the rest of the garbage? That's what interests me. I like that I'm starting off nice and early, right? I'm making sure that I have a good amount of inedible stuff in my diet so that when the time comes, I can eat the entire planet. Oh, God. <laughs> bricks. <laughs> yeah, okay. You definitely look like you ship bricks. Buddy, trust me. You don't want to be hanging around this alleyway. Okay, it's nothing but trouble. There's a bunch of crazy looking day owls hanging around with the day bats. <laughs> I feel like all the animals in this city, myself included, are very confused. I have an excuse. I'm full of styrofoam and bricks. I don't know what their excuse is. I, I still kind of want to eat them, though. Can I please eat you? Kind of creepy that they never blink. <laughs> you just kind of stare at an owl and his stupid cold eyes. Come on, where are you? I'm definitely bigger than you. I I'm, I'm rounder than you, that's for damn sure. Ooh, here we go, cinder blocks. A wonderful appetizer. That's how we'll start things off, right? Couple cinder blocks, and then I got the owl. I'm sorry. I, I don't speak owl. I'm not very fluent in city owl. I'm not from around here. Okay, that was a lot for a first level. I have high hopes for this campaign. Our next level is called Who's Chasing Me? 
as opposed to hoes chasing me, which is far more likely to happen in a dark alleyway. Okay, well, we're right where we left off. Oh, okay, I see how it is. Looks like you guys have done a little evolving of your own. You've decided that I'm delicious. Yeah, we'll, we'll, we'll see about that. You can chase me all you want, you book nerd woodland critters, but I'm to the point now where I can push you around at least, right? I can kind of dive down and, and yeah, there we go, screw you. <laughs> all I need to do is get one good cinder block in me and you guys are done. You guys don't want this, trust me, I told you, you didn't want it. <laughs> Always gotta have my cinder blocks before I finish off the rest of the critter community. I probably shouldn't eat unlabeled boxes hanging out in dingy alleyways, but I need this. <laughs> okay, I guess I don't need to wipe out all the owls after all. Our next level is called Sort It Out, and I would imagine that has something to do with my morbid obesity. Get rid of the garbage bags and cardboard boxes. Sort them into the correct bins. Um, what? You mean I'm not supposed to eat them? Are you garbage? No, you're not garbage. Okay, you must be recycling. Yes. Man, evolution is weird. I kind of wanted to eat the humans and not do their chores. Like, why are they leaving garbage out on their windowsills? But uh, that's fine. You know what? That's okay. I'm definitely going to help the planet and then eat it. I want a nice healthy planet. This is actually surprisingly difficult. No, no, there we go. Good, hey, okay. No, we actually got there. That was a unique little level. You know what? I'm not gonna give it too much praise because it was just busy work, but at the same time, I wanna see more stuff like that from Tasty Planet. More than just eat small stuff to get bigger to eat bigger stuff. Next up, we have the gravity of the situation. And unless I've gotten so big that I now have my own gravitational pull, I'm not really sure what that means. Okay, well, I've made my way to space and I'm now eating space garbage. Cool. Technically, I am recycling and recycling would be a positive trait to pass on to your children to benefit the survival of the species, so I guess I've evolved to becoming a recycling penguin? Is that how that works? I still really hope that our goal isn't to save the planet. I would much rather digest it. There is a whole lot of weird garbage here. <laughs> <laughs> like fully functioning air conditioners and a family of raccoons. So wait a second, this isn't some kind of void in space full of garbage. It's like a dumpster exploded and just stopped obeying the rules. I'm incredibly confused. Doesn't matter, eat it. It'll all come out the same in the end. Up next, we have when penguins fly and I kind of assumed that I had been flying this entire time, so maybe I'm out of the loop? Maybe there is some kind of steampunk convention going on nearby, or this could be the future, I suppose. You never know. No, it's probably the future. <gasps> Hover bikes, day owls, ow! I don't suppose any of you fine looking future people got the number of that hover bike that just splattered me all over his hover windshield. <laughs> it's a good thing I'm so tubby, okay? I've got a whole lot of insulation. Just makes me bounce right off. I'll get my revenge, just you wait. First, I gotta focus on the day. Ow, was, ow! I'm gonna assume that because of the multiple hover bike concussions and all of the styrofoam flowing through my veins, that's why I completely forgot that in the opening comic it said that it's the future, right? The ice caps have melted and I've evolved to take back the planet from a bunch of dirty humans. I'm like a penguiny powder keg and all I need to light my fuse is just a little bit of garbage. Come here, human. <laughs> that's what I thought. Oh, you guys don't know what's good for you. You best stay away. I love the mouth just, ah, oh, that was a cyborg. Okay, wow, it really is the future. You guys should be banging people, shouldn't you? Who in their right mind would let a bang bot roam around in the road and be eaten by some kind of gross hover penguin who may or may not be chased by the police? Okay, future police, I didn't do anything. Ooh, yeah, they still haven't figured out the whole targeting system thing yet. Okay, lasers are, lasers are bad. 
I'm just recycling like a responsible citizen. Don't mind me. Please leave me alone. I don't want any trouble. Where were you when I was get turned into road kill without the road? What would that be? Air kill? Oh, yeah, you want to air kill me, Lee? Oh, well, I should really just keep baiting them into killing each other. That'd make my life a whole lot easier. Where are the hover bikes? I need my sweet revenge. Where are ah, There we go. That's what I'm talking about. <laughs> Finally, my brain is bigger than the hover bike. Let's see, you can cuss that. Oh dear. What is this level? <laughs> this is completely ridiculous. We haven't seen a dramatic change in scenery for Tasty Planet forever yet. Like, as far as I can remember, it's always been, you know, farms or the ocean or maybe a little bit of space, but never the future with hover bikes and hover cars and non hover people. Is this a hover garbage truck? It is a hover garbage truck. Listen, I don't want to tell you how to do your job, but there's a whole lot of non-hover garbage hanging around. You're not really doing anything. <laughs> Especially not from inside of me. Actually, I guess all of the garbage is in there now, so maybe you are doing something? I, I'll, I'll just leave them to their own, okay? You know what, I may be a penguin and I may be from the future, but I won't pretend to know their ways. <laughs> Okay, we're not even halfway through the campaign and we're already demolishing cities? Really? Right when you think things can't get any weirder, our future evolved penguin asks, where's my jetpack? That's an excellent question. You know what, I'm tired of flapping my wings. Oh, that's just great. We're just gonna watch other people have lots of fun in this cloud fart of a city. Hello, ow! Bellow wildlife, okay, I see how it is. I'm gonna have to give this guy a full-blown Jaws moment. There we go. Why are the raccoons coming out of the apartment building? Maybe this isn't the future that we think it is. Maybe all the humans and the cyborgs live on the streets in the garbage and the raccoons live in the buildings. <laughs> wow, this is, this is dystopian. They seem friendly. Yeah, enough, okay. I'm just gonna let the futuristic parade of smart raccoons march into my asshole. <laughs> Man, the future is really something else. Can I eat this pack of, hey, there we go. Jetpack cyborgs, that's exactly what I was looking for. <laughs> Still not really sure what's going on here, but uh, it's delicious. Look at that sky. This planet is just completely demolished. I'm not sure what I could do to save this, to be completely honest. There's no amount of penguin recycling that's gonna revert that, right? Maybe I can eat it all? Uh, yeah, I guess we'll have to see. What exactly is a Dyson Sphere again? Isn't that a vacuum? It's not a vacuum, but it, it's just making me curious. I'm 13 meters long, whoa. Oh, right, a Dyson Spear is like Halo. Oh, this is trippy. <laughs> I don't know how I feel about this. Okay, yeah, sure. So, we're just gonna start off with garbage trucks. I see how it is. In all reality, I should be flying into traffic so that traffic can fly into my mouth. It just makes everything a whole lot easier. <laughs> so I am gonna get to the point where I can eat cities, but what is going on with our planet? Is this just like a bubble underground that they've turned into a city? It looks like it. Not sure how they would screw with gravity to make that work. Ooh, oh yeah, that's the stuff. <laughs> now we get to grind our little penguiny face along the ground and eat apartment buildings. These were the apartment buildings full of raccoons. We've come a long way, a very long way actually. This is kind of nuts. So now we should be able to get the bigger ones. Okay, doing another loop. <laughs> These are just buildings, not apartment buildings, not necessarily full of raccoons, just building buildings, I suppose. <laughs> Don't need to be any more specific than that, right? I'm not a picky penguin, that's for sure. All very interesting, but it's not until I get to eat the factories that things are really going my way. I think there's one factory left with my name on it. It's about time that we get the whole picture in we built this city, and I have no doubt that they built this city. Right, giant bubble cities don't just naturally happen. Same with mystery meat, we've been over this, and I'll tell you right now that the city might have been built by humans, but it's gonna be destroyed by a penguin full of sunflower seeds and rice and teriyaki sauce. 
I sometimes wonder if all of the events in Tasty Planet Forever happen in the same world, like at the same time. Like, was there a giant robo cat that ate most of Italy at the same time that there was a giant dingo that ate most of Australia? And now in the future, do we have history books documenting all the times that animals just got completely out of control and took out a huge part of humanity? And, and then the bee ate the planet, but I guess we'll just gloss over that part. It's comforting to know that in the future, our raccoon overlords will still allow us French rides. <laughs> That's the one thing that we can take away from this, that if there is a future that doesn't end up in some kind of gross penguin belly, that it's a bright future? Kind of? I, I feel like I'm trying to take some kind of moral to this story, but it, it's just not happening. And here I was worried that all of the mystery meat strewn about this alley would be, you know, raccoon, bat, owl. You know, the stuff that real mystery meat is in the present day. But no, no, it's probably like chicken, cow, pork, you know, all those animals that no longer matter. I must be a very quiet penguin because these bats can't seem to echolocate me for whatever reason. I would kind of expect a lot of wet flapping. Very furious, constant wet flapping. But no, I'm, I'm just quiet. I'm like a fart in the wind. Find yourself a man that looks at you the same way this penguin looks at a cinder block. And if he wants to eat you the same way, then all the better. <laughs> Come here, owl. We're getting ready to move up in the world, that's what I'm talking about. Hello, people. Good to see you again, and cyborgs. Where are you guys going? I was eating all your garbage. I thought that's what you wanted. I thought that's what you wanted. <laughs> that's what you wanted all the raccoons to do before they freed themselves in the raccoon revolution of 2099. Yeah, prepare yourself. It's gonna happen, just you wait. <laughs> I love putting him into overdrive and just flying through a crowd. <laughs> oh, 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 I shouldn't have said that, shouldn't have said that. Popo, popo, oh, God. A little bit less popo. <laughs> I just can't get over the fact that they shoot each other. <laughs> like, you're not Luke Skywalker, use the targeting system. Please stop shooting me. I don't know if you're aware of this, but it hurts. <laughs> Feelings are still a thing in the future, right? I hope they are, so you can feel my insides when I eat you. There's gotta be a car or two around here somewhere. That's what I'm talking about. It's like Grand Theft Auto. <laughs> Except instead of jacking a car, you eat it. <laughs> and then you get to turn on the bullies. Perfect. <laughs> so we're now at about the halfway point. I remember that we've ate these apartment buildings before, but I'm curious if we are gonna get to the point of eating the planet. I really hope we do. I, I kind of said that we would in the intro because I thought we would, but come to think of it, I don't know for sure. You know, a lot of YouTubers have clickbait thumbnails. I love that I've gotten big enough now that the police officers don't even try. They're just like, whoa, 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 he's bigger than us? Screw it, we're, 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 we're gonna call in the space military. Okay, yeah, you know what, that, that's probably, Fair. They still really need to get that tracking system down, Pat. Oh, oh, come on, I was eating that. What the hell are they? They're like a cross between space tanks and hover space battleships. <laughs> or future battleships. I, I just say space because everything in space is the future. That's just how things are. Let's find out. You are a hover tank. Okay, that's what I thought. <laughs> Something along those lines. Yeah, you know what, you're boop now. Ooh. I can only imagine the bird poops, right? Like that liquidy white stuff that ends up on your car. Imagine having a hover tank dropped on it. <laughs> okay. Yeah, things get real quiet when you're this big. Kinda ominous. Just munching down hover tanks that, again, you're, you're slightly bigger than them and they're like, screw it. You know what? There's no way. This is just, it's like Godzilla, except it's a penguin. We can't see the curvature of the earth which is awful strange, right? Because we ate the Dyson Sphere, and this is definitely smaller than that. Hmm. We're currently at 69 meters, so giggity, but I still really want to eat a factory or two. What else is over here? Ooh, oh! What the hell? What is this? Is it a planet? It's like a hover city, a hover island? I did not see this coming at all. <laughs> okay, yeah, I'll, I'll take this. This is pretty colossal. First we wipe out all the civilians and then we start eating the floating islands. Oh, 
So for some reason they thought islands in water, that's so 2099. We need to live in the 28th century and be sure to make them all float. <laughs> what could go wrong, right? It's not like anything is gonna evolve and screw us. You know what, I think that's gonna be it for this episode of Tasty Planet Forever, guys. That was rewarding, okay? I really did like that one because it was a completely different setting, completely different group of things that we were eating and a very unexpected ending. But now, all we have left to do is the gray goo. And you can tell by all of the little space people and robot things and all the stuff in there, though, it is gonna get ridiculous. It is gonna be the epitome of Tasty Planet. So if you guys wanna see that, as always, be sure to leave a like on this video, let me know, and that might even be a two-parter, to be completely honest, because I get the feeling it is going to be huge. And thanks so much for watching this video. I hope you enjoyed, and I'll see you next time.